Hi you guys, it's me Kiana once again. I had already did a video, um, but it got lost somehow. Um, today we're making um, my uh, special fried sweet and sour um, chicken wings and also my fried barbecue um, chicken wings. Uh, we're going to have some corn to cook with it um, and also I'm just going to make some some um, additional fries to go with it on the side, some steak fries. Um, and we also made um, an apple pie uh, for dessert as well. So since I already did the video of actually showing you how to make the actual apple pie, I'll just walk you through it. Um, you're going to take your traditional um, dollar store uh, pie crust. Um, that only cost me a dollar. And I just took about five apples. What you're going to do is you're going to simmer those with some apple, so um, apple juice a little bit of water until they are um, actually fork tender. Once they're fork tender, you're going to put them aside and toss that uh, with a little bit of brown sugar and some cinnamon. Now, you're going to place that into your um, already pre-made pie crust and then you're going to um, proceed to make your uh, crumb for your apple crumb pie. Um, what you're going to do is you're going to need some sugar, white sugar, brown sugar, and you're also going to need some flour. Um, once you incorporate all of those dry ingredients, you're going to add your wet ingredient, which is what actually going to make the crumb effect. You're going to add a little bit of butter to it. This is one of those things you got to get your hands down into because what you're going to do is incorporate all those flavors together and you should come out with a crumb effect. Once that is already crumbly, you're going to make sure you heavily place that onto the pie. I said heavenly because a lot of people do not place enough crumb and that's what a lot of people like. So you're going to heavily place the crumb all on the pie. You're going to place that in your oven or um, your regular 350 to the 400 degree oven. And you're just going to watch that while you're fixing your wings. I don't know how long it takes exactly, but you're already standing here fixing your wings. So you just want to every six minutes check on that. Um, it's not something that you have to bake for a long period of time because it is ingredients that's already done. You're just basically meshing all the ingredients together by the break baking process. Okay, you're going to fry your wings lightly. When I say lightly, I'm not talking about not done, but I'm talking about a light brown effect. This is with the effect that you want to accomplish. Your wings should look like that. Okay? Now, once these wings, um, actually the, the season that I use for my wings, um, I don't double dip or anything for this because there's no need to do that process like I've done with my other videos for frying chicken. I just place the wings in a bowl, um, add some flour, and then I make sure I put um, plenty of flavor um, seasons in it. Okay, you're going to put black pepper, seasoned salt, accent, Obey, poultry seasoning, and garlic pepper. Make sure you toss that very well, shake off, put it in your hot grease, and make sure that grease is already hot. Once you place the chicken into your pan, it should actually bubble up as soon as you put the chicken in. That means that it's nice and hot. When your wings um, come out, you're going to put your, your second batch, and I actually had a third batch to put in as well. After that, you're ready for making your sauce. So, that is the next video. So, the next video is going to actually show you how to make this sweet and sour sauce. And then we're going to toss it all together. We're going to throw our fries in after this last batch. So, everything should be actually done when I come back. Um, actually, all the wings should be done on the next video. Uh, the fries should be frying up at you know while we're doing the video about the... Um, tossing of the sweet and sour sauce and our apple pie may be coming out as well so i look so forward to talking to you guys again make sure you comment subscribe and um that's about it we almost finished cooking it's 2 40 so we started pretty early today um i made sure i fixed dessert because daddy does like to have dessert with his um dinner on sundays um because he's watching the game um, Nene and I are spending some girl time and daddy and the babies in the room watching their sports. 
And just to let you know, this upcoming week we will be um, baking a turkey. Um, yes, a turkey, you guys. What I do is I always, at the beginning of the month, buy at least um, one turkey. The reason why is because you can make so many meals out of it and it's economical. Um, you probably spend about $12 for a turkey, but you can make about six meals out of it. So for $12 and six, you know, six meals out of it is not bad at all. So I look so forward again to your comments and I'll answer all of them. Be blessed.